let us talk about brain gate today and we'll see the introduction the development the working principle the types of bci that is brain computer interface the application of it the advantages disadvantages and the future scope and conclusion the future scope is important as it's still in infancy stage so it is a mind to movement system that allows a quadriplegic man to control a computer using his thoughts okay the system is to help those who have lost control of their limbs or any other body parts functions such as uh, patients with uh, some spinal cord injury uh, to operate various gadgets such as tv computer light fan etc so it monitors brain activity in the patient and converts the intention of the user into computer commands right whatever you are thinking is being converted or uh, as uh, an action or a function so this can be used to control a robot arm or a cursor on a screen so how uh, did this uh, development take place a uh, brain gate is a brain implant system developed by biotech companies cyber kinetics in 2003 in conjunction with the department of your science at brown university so cyber kinetics uh, it started and this is uh, nicholas he is uh, the main key person behind it and what is the working principle of this brain gate please listen carefully because um, as i point, point out here i'll explain also so the principle of brain gate neural interface system is that uh, which interact with the uh, the brain function neural signals generated are interpreted by the system these are the neural signals which are generated by the uh, system and cursor means the brain and these neural signals uh, which are uh, generated by the brain they are interpreted by this system okay these are the system and a cursor is shown to the user on a computer screen that provides an alternate brain wave pathway so the user can use the cursor to control the computer just as a mouse is used there are uh, types of brain computer interfaces uh, we have uh, one way and two way bcis so computer see that accept command from the brain or send signal to it or the two way allow brain and external device to exchange information in both the directions so the working of brain gate is the brain gate neural neural uh, interface device is a proprietary brain computer interface that consists of interneural signal sensor interneural signal sensor and an external processor so the sensor consists of a tiny chip containing uh, 100 microscopic electrodes that detect brain cell electrical activity so the chip is implanted on the surface of the brain in the motor cortex area that controls the movement right it is implanted here and these sensors consist of tiny chips uh, containing 100 microscopic uh, electrodes which are able to detect the actual brain cell electrical activity then the external processors convert neural signals into an output signal under the users own control so in the pilot version of the device a cable connects the sensor to an external processor in a cart that contains computer right so the computer translates brain activity and creates a communication output using custom decoding software so this is the whole idea that you have a proxy motor area of a cerebral cortex and you have a micro electrode array around 4 mm this is the pedestal and this is where the patient cable connector is there these are the signal amplifier you have fiber optic cable you see there are fiber fiber optic cable and these are the neural signal interpreter and these are the monitors so user is able while just sitting because he may not be able to move just by his neural activity or brain activity 
he or she can control the functions. Uh, the application says that in classification of EEG signal, in multimedia communication, and they may be used in evaluation of spike detection in the carthum, and actuated control of mobile rotopod by uh, human EEG, and as a brain control switch for asynchronous control, and also it may be used in evaluating the machine learning algorithms. And there are various advantages that you can control uh, remote devices, make or receive telephone calls, access the internet, turn on or off the light, and control robotic arm. Watch and control television, use the PC, locking and unlocking doors, motorized wheelchair. You know, these are all there, but these are for the people who have lost some of their natural being because of some accident or some disease. For them, this is a really a very helpful thing. And, you know, disadvantages are also there, somewhat expensive and surgery is risky because you are going to plant a chip in your brain not wireless yet you have to have a wired uh, always so difficulty in adapting and unloading limitation in information transfer rate uh, around 20 bits per minute but, but while I'm speaking it has increased a lot on what are the future scope current new advances include a second generation interface software a uh, power controller that will enable users to perform a wide variety of daily activities without assistance of technician. And you have a smaller wireless devices now, and the user will have an improved control of his respiratory system, limb with muscle stimulated arm, or robotics. So the invention of brain gate is such a revolution in the medical field. The remarkable breakthrough of hope that people are paralyzed will one day be able to independently operate artificial limbs, computers or wheelchairs. Thank you so much. Take care.